Yeah, I wrestled in high school, and then right out of high school, I started training for pro wrestling because ever since I was five years old, that's what I wanted to do. I've done TNA, WWE, NXT, Ring of Honor. But I got a lot of early opportunities very, very early in my career with Ring of I had my first Ring of Honor match uh, one year after I started wrestling. I take everything that I've learned from this guy or that guy and, you know, legends that I've been in the ring with, like the Rock and Roll Express, or just all the experience I've been around Triple H and Bloom and Matt Bloom and Steve Carino. Just taking bits and pieces of that and making it my own. Been trying to evolve my career in the past year and a half and reinvent myself to be something different than what the usual was usually seen. I'm finally feeling like I'm into the right groove in a sense that what can you do to make it feel real, make it genuine? You know, it's a roller coaster of emotions when you're out there. To be able to build good sympathy for that baby face, you gotta make that crowd hate the heel with everything in them. What I've been doing, and, and I had to evolve my style and evolve you know, who I am, I'm not trying to go out there and put on a, a five-star match in the sense of cool wrestling moves. I'm trying to create moments. I'm trying to create a drama. For that first eight-year-old kid that sees wrestling for the very first time, how can we get him to beg his parents to keep that on the channel? For a long time, I didn't know who I was. And, and you know, like, when I first started, I did want to see the next AJ Styles. I mean, who wouldn't? You know, it was an honor to be AJ Styles' last independent match. Especially to have him that I've looked up to ever since I was 12 or 13 years old. It was super cool to be able to wrestle him in his last independent match. So no matter whatever happens in wrestling, I'm always going to go down in history as that. Wow, you can expect something different than everything else that you're going to see. You're not going to see cool moves out of me, but I guarantee you, you're going to hate me. Your grandmother is going to hate me. Your whole family is going to hate me. So if you want to be emotionally connected into somebody like you haven't been probably in 20 years, come see a show where Corey Hollis is at, because I guarantee you it's going to be different than everything else you're going to see on the whole show. in your head you've always thought Corey Hollis